slight edge and experience going the way of Vyman. She is also five years the younger, two inches the shorter, one pound the lighter. Gives up reach in the arms and half an inch in the legs to the champion. Our experts fight gauge looks like this. Kicks are even, punches are even, though the power goes to Vyman's and the punches. Perhaps the technique goes to Antonina Shevchenko. Knees definitely go to Shevchenko, elbow Shevchenko. Power has to go to Alona Vyman's. Ladies and gentlemen, once again from the Foxwood Resort Casino in Mashantucket, Connecticut. Lion Fight Promotions is proud to present the co-main event of the evening, the second of three championship bouts for the night. Sponsored by Hayabusa, Martin Barth's King Inc., Joshua's Limousine, Access TV, and the Scorpion Bar. At ringside, your three judges score this championship bout are James Smith, David Torelli and Pong Sack Chu Chan. And the man in charge of the action at the bell, your referee, Koban Anusle. Five three minute rounds of fighting, a Muay Thai action for the Lion Fight Female a Lightweight Championship of the World. Into the same first, the challenger. Fighting under the blue corner, standing five feet, six inches tall, she weighed in officially at 133 ready pounds. As a professional, she has 51 fights to her credit, including 45 victories against five defeats with one bout even. Hailing from Rotterdam, Netherlands, and fighting for the first time in the U.S. of A. She is the current and reigning four-time Dutch and European lightweight champion of the world, Dobson Hedden. Then welcome, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Ilona, the Iron Queen, Vimey. And introducing her opponent, the champion, fighting under the red corner. Standing five feet, eight inches tall, she weighed in officially at 134 solid pounds. As a professional, she has 38 fights to her credit, including 37 victories against one defeat. Nine of her victories coming to you by way of KO. Joining us tonight from Phuket, Thailand, by way of Lima, Peru, and making her second title defense, she is the current reigning, defending, undisputed, light fight, female, lightweight, champion of the world. Ladies and gentlemen, Damas y Caballeros, please welcome Antonina, the Panther, Shevchenko. Once again, your referee in charge, Colban Aniswe. Referee Coban in charge of this one. Ilona Vyman takes on Antonina Shevchenko. Shevchenko, the defending lightweight champion of the world. Set for five rounds of action. Shevchenko in southpaw stats. Shevchenko lunging with that backhand. Vyman wants to get on the inside of the reach and pound away. Oh, real big. Dutch girl, very aggressive. Trying to control centering here, Vimans. Up high on the balls of her feet. Bouncing. Outside leak here from Antonina. Yeah, she's bouncing a lot. Oh, nice. Quick release. Just a V 
very much a filling up process here in the opening round. You just see Vyman's a loaded spring. She wants to just go. She's not going to go without some method. And there it is, straight punching into the overhand right from Vyman. Punches and bunches. Way to go. Punches and bunches. <laughs> as much as we have said about Vyman's power in the hands, she's got to be careful because that's what Antonina does. Very crisp, good quality striking. Good on the counters as well. Very if good. Vimans comes in sloppy pad or overexerts herself, Antonina will catch her. Yeah, she'll make her pay. She's already done it a couple times with that straight left, catching kicks. Oh, fight. That left hand, the rear hand being used as a lead punch by Antonina is superb. You see again, she counters Vimans. Yep. She's quick, deceptively so the champion. Good way to shut down the offense and change the mind of your opponent. Every time they attempt something, they get shut down and get countered. They start to become gun shy because of it. Then you can take over completely. Spinning back fist counter there from Shemchenko. They clinch up in tango, back against the ropes. In red. Good break there from referee Koban. Alright. I thought you said okay. Okay. Sorry. Okay. Sorry, I'm Dutch. Genuine mistake it looked like there though from Vyman. She thought the referee had said they could recommence. Sure, not too much of a big deal. Okay, just to look at what happened there. She hit her with a heater, too. Yeah, she did. Wow, any more Vaseline on her and her eyebrows will slip off her face. Pat scorecard after one. 10 9 for Shevchenko finding the target with that rear hand. When you get hit with that many straight lefts from a southpaw fighter, you definitely want to circle to your left away from it. Fight. Sometimes you're going to hear referee Koban say fight, even though the girls are fighting, but it's when they're not engaging each other. He does a little gesture of his hand and he says fight. Fight. You see, again, he does it there because neither girl is connecting with anything here and not pressing, pressing forward. So he's encouraging them to say fight. It's not as if they're not fighting, but they are not fighting. He's just encouraging more action from them. How many fights did Coban have? Oh, my Lord, Pat. Just 300? <laughs> I don't know if it was that high, but it was, it was definitely up Two, there. 250? Yeah, it was up there. Go YouTube Coban after tonight's, tonight's fights and uh, sit there and enjoy the whole night watching Coban. C-O-B-A-N. Two hundred and seventy fights, ninety knockouts. Pat. So you're right, about three hundred, but ninety KOs. Ryman's got a bull rush, and that's how you stop her. When you've got an opponent bull rushing you, that's one way to put a stop on them, dump them. Violence needs better feints and fakes. Yeah. Tremendous respect being shown for both ladies. It's an intriguing contest. Oh, that was nicely timed. Lead hand down the tube from the champion. That happened. Vimans is loading up. Took her too long to release that kick. 
Shevchenko saw it coming and just shot something down the middle and shut her down. Wow. Wow, look at that. Strength down the line. Body teep, right hand, then head teep with the left foot. Everything down the corridor. Now, Vimans has been busted up in the past. You, you see her nose close up pattern. It's a nose that's been broken a few times. It's a Picasso nose. Country road. Right. Because it bends a lot. <laughs> I've never heard that one before. I like it. I had a buddy I grew up with, Rob Wolf, the brother of Mike Wolf on American Pickers. Yep. And his nose is broken and crooked all over the place, so we called him Backroads Rob. <laughs> and there's those uh, wonderful ropes. Wonderfully loose ropes again. Incredible. That even when Ron Cruck mentioned it in his speech ah. at the end of the last fight, they didn't hop into the ring during the ad break and fix those ropes. Just incredible. You know, if you're going to have ropes that loose, at least put like 12 foot deep of water right. around so they, they fall in the water right. and have to fight in the water. Put a moat around the ring. Yes. Gators. <laughs> well, it's not the original UFC concept. Right, right. We're talking more time. Oh, okay. <laughs> Shevchenko looking sharp again. Beautiful axe kick there. Punching, going backwards. Catching the kick and dumping. You want to see an axe kick master. The master of that was Andy Hug. Make sure you YouTube him, Andy Hug axe nice. kicks. And you'll see it from Kyokushin Karate. Shooting the right hand down the middle again. Seeing that kick coming. Vyman's loading up too much. Watch. Teep to the body. Right hand. Oh. Teep to the face. Oh, beautiful. High quality fighter. Anthony English. Two rounds to nil in favor of the champion, says Pat Milicic. Shevchenko has opened up every round the same so far with that sort of outside crescent slash sidekick. Vimans has to start attacking at some point here. Cutting off Shevchenko. Let's get a run. Mike Windler from Vimans Corner. He told me that she needs to keep moving, getting in and out much quicker. Watch for the right cross. She's going to start throwing that bomb. Michael. Can drop dead center of the ring. He had a chance for the knees. Nice one there from Shevchenko. Spins Vimans around. Got a hit of advice here. Nicely done from the champion, scoring with the knees out of the clinch. And every time she lands, you can hear Valentina Shevchenko yeah. cheering her along from the corner. True Muay Thai coach style. That ue every time they land. It really does encourage you as a fighter. It encourages you as a fighter and also accentuates the fact that you're landing the technique to the judges. Right. Sort of just hammers home the point. And uh, with the judging we've been having so far here tonight, particularly from Judge Pongsa. Right. I think every little bit helps. Lyman's nose bleeding. Ooh, flash of heads there. there. Nice knees again. Unbelievable. Spine injury out of these fights. Just ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Now, Antonina is employing the very same method that fighters use to defeat Melvin Mantle from the past, Pat, to close him down. Going down the center corridor, always on the balls of their feet, stuffing him when he came in, charging and bullying, keeping him at reach with those straight line punches down the corridor. Right. Elbows here from Antonina. Merk, Merk, Merk. Be careful with those ones in the back of the neck. Perfectly legal in normal Muay Thai, but in American combat sports, right. illegal. Ryman's bull rushing in, and Antonina, a little quarter turn. Almost Aikido-esque there. Beautifully read her coming in. Just turned her around and put her through the rope. Right. Ole, like a bullfighter. <laughs> it was right. a little bit Matador style. Yeah. Oh, look at that. It's a beautiful performance here from the champion. Oh. Smoked her with that left hand, buddy. Right. 
Um, I do see some complaints on Twitter about these loose ropes here at Foxwoods Casino, and I do agree with the tweet that it has spoiled a lot of the clinch work we could have possibly seen tonight. Yeah. Really robbing us of that. There they go in the clinch, heading over to the ropes, They're just falling right through them. I don't know about you, Mike, but my back does not bend like that anymore. No. Well, maybe after a couple of margaritas. <laughs> oh, look at that. Kobe Ann being smart and catching her. You can see she's in pain there. Yeah. Getting bent it's, over. Just, it's, just, it's disgusting they haven't fixed these ropes. They haven't gotten in there between rounds during commercial breaks and tightened up these ropes. It's not a big deal. Somebody's got to be tweeting the people you, ringside. You are putting at risk the health and safety of the fighters and meanwhile you've got officials laughing at the fact that they're tumbling in through the ropes Round it's disgusting Fight. okay let's go to Ron with an update on the ropes here Ron Mike I just spoke to longtime UFC referee Fight. Dan Mergliata and he flat out told me there is nothing wrong with these ropes that they are at a good tension I asked him well what about people going over he's like they were some there was a flying knee and that's why he went over he's going to check the ropes again after this fight but uh he disagrees Dan Mergliata said the ropes are just fine no reason no need to check the ropes the girls who aren't huge people Fight. are flying through them and pushing them apart Dan's usually spot on but I've got to disagree with him there we are seeing the proof of it in the ring tonight. And as Pat said, you've got the two lightest weighted fighters of the night in the ring at the moment, and look what's happening. Oh, nice overhand right there from Vimans. Funny landing. She needs more chaos in this fight. Like that. Me, 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 me. Gotta turn it into a brawl. Shevchenko's out techniquing her right now. She out really is. Gotta turn it into an ugly brawl. Out thinking her. Good strategy from the champion. It is all coming together. Up, oh, no, no. No, to turn it back. Nasty elbow to the back of the head. No. All right, okay, fight. That could have been a potential point deduction there. Got to be careful. Aura. Or a complete knockout because of the elbow to the back yeah. of the head yeah. and getting DQ'd. So check on nice job getting those knees up to the head by blocking out with the forearm. And if you want to see how loose the ropes are as well, you have a look in the, when the fighters enter the ring and their trainers push down the ropes to let them go over the top. There's no how, tension. No, at how low they are pushing those ropes down. Yeah. Much lower than you'll ever see in, in, in any other ring. Right. Oh, look at that. Beautiful left down the center. Bork left. Knees now from Shevchenko. She is just putting down the points. I don't think the way she's fighting that Shevchenko is going to knock Vimans out. But she's certainly cruising towards a very lopsided decision when you hear Pat. Yes, she is. Vyman's fallen into uh, Shevchenko's game his entire fight. Fight. There's got to come a time here where Vyman says enough is enough. I've just got to put my chin down, look through the brow, and go for Hail Mary shots. Go in, Bobby. Like that. Because Antonina is a little too smart for her, a little too fluent and invasive for it, and beautiful on the counters. Well, Vimans isn't getting completely shut out in terms of landing technique. Lands that head kick there, and then this right hand did a good job. She landed that right hand because she ducked outside the left, obtained an angle off that combo, throws the spin kick unsuccessfully, and then elbow. Oh, almost sliced her ear off. Nasty. There's an official checking the ropes, but 
and Dan checked the ropes too, but they checked the ropes right near the corner where the ropes are going to be tighter. You've got to check those ropes in the, in middle, the middle there. Yeah. You know, they checked the ropes at the corner. Of course they're going to be tighter there. You've got to oh, check them in the fight, middle. And fight. All by my traffic here. Mormon's trying for that. Now, I don't mind right. Antonia being aggressive where the back's turned to her because Vyman's is turning her back. You've right. got to protect yourself at all times. Yeah, and she needs to turning, the front of the face right. that time. If you're turning your back, it's your fault. She delayed pushing that kick in until she was done with her head movement, then shoved it into her chops. Now, why did he stop him there? Fight. She was in a good clinch yep. throwing knees. I really do think this is the oh, nice knees there from Shevchenko. Well, referee, why, why are you stepping in again? These are clean knees that are hitting her on the face. Why step in and save Vyman? She could have, she yeah, could have knocked odd. her down. Very odd. Does he see an unfair advantage at that point or something? I don't know. Well, you yeah. know what? Step in, stop it, and put a count on it. Right. Don't stop it and recommence and give Vyman's back an advantage. Right. Because Antonina had her locked up fair and square and was kneeing her to the face. Beautiful bulk left again. It'd be like a, be like an MMA, somebody having mount dropping bombs on somebody and the referee standing them up. Now that was what I was talking about earlier in the night. You see Antonina dumped her and she followed through the forearm was on her throat and then the knee was on her thigh. You can do that perfectly legal. It's good Muay Thai. Yeah. Nice. You can hear Valentina yelling every time that her sister connects. You know, with 40 seconds to go, we are seeing every round so far for Shevchenko. It looks like another easy round here, 10-9 for her. Boob almost popping out there on Vimans. And uh, it, should just, it should be a very easy decision for the judges. But as we saw early in the night, maybe not the case because... One judge earlier did give Lovacek the win over Maraza Pollard quite yeah. concerningly. Quite concerning. Nice follow-up with knees. Oh, Shevchenko doing a number on her now. Shut her down in the opening round. Closed down the power of Vimans. Went down the center with her own straight line punches and kicks. On the inside, dripping the knees and throwing the short elbows. Every round here, Anthony and Shevchenko. Dominance. Lose. I think this is really the result we're going to see of Shevchenko as a champion, Pat. I think time and time again, we're going to see her win by decision and win comfortably and close her opponent down. She never is really a great big knockout fighter, Anthony Shevchenko. She's more so a real stylist, a real strategist, a tactician who will close you down and then just outpoint you easily. Yeah, and use good defense, not get hurt. Put a little makeup on the next morning, go to the airport, not look like she was in a fight. Plenty more action coming your way on Access TV. And if you're into basketball, check out the Battle for Atlantis. It's coming up next Friday night from the Bahamas. Final ever legacy, it's number 63 from Tulsa, Oklahoma. Final ever RFA is from Brandon, Branson, Missouri on December 9. And then Legacy Fighting Championship, I should say Legacy Fighting Alliance. First ever show, January 13, where RFA and Legacy combine forces. Pat scorecard, look at this for all one-way traffic. Easy 50-45. I really believe, truly believe, there can be no other outcome. Pitch a no-hitter in baseball. If you have another outcome, let us know on Twitter, at Chevello Voice, at Pat Militich, at R. Cruck. Do you have a different result than 50-45? Did you give a round here to Vyman? Careful, Mike Jackson or Fritz Fowler might troll us. <laughs> well, ladies and gentlemen, after five exciting rounds of fighting to the judges' scorecards, we go. All three judges, James Smith, 
David Torelli and Pong Sack Choo Chow. So he's about the same. 50 to 45. Declaring your winner by unanimous decision. And still champion, Antonina the Panther Shevchenko. Shevchenko retains the line fight like championship of the world and does so in fine style. All one way traffic. Now, meanwhile, Dan Mirigliotta is adjusting the ropes. He is indeed tightening the ropes. They have heard our pleas that we've had all night. Dan Mirigliotta deciding the ropes are far too loose and look how much he is tightening them. Let's go to Ron Crack. All right, Antonina Shevchenko, what a performance tonight by you. You knew it was going to be a tough fight, but you cruised to a unanimous decision victory. Evaluate your performance for us. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, first of all, I'm re very glad to be here again in Foxwood, in Connecticut. It's a lucky place for me. Here I won my beautiful lion fight belt. Here I first time it def defended, and now it's second time. So... Very well, big thanks to my uh, team, Bullet KO. We were preparing very hard. And uh, my coach, of course, Pavel Fedotov. I trained with him more than 20 years old. Uh, so it's uh, our work, our team victory. Thank you. You just signed a five fight extension with Lion Fight. You haven't lost a bout in 13 years. What's next for you? What's the next challenge? Yes, uh, uh, I resigned my contract with Lion Fight. It's a great promotion. Uh, doing very great cele uh, celebration of Muay Thai here in States and worldwide. And uh, I'm really happy that I resigned my new contract and I will, uh, I, I hope I our work will be successful with Lion Fight. Well, we look forward to seeing you right back here in the Lion Fight ring. You're and still your Lion Fight champion, Antonina Shevchenko. The champion defends Antonina Shevchenko and as the officials continue to